people and I'm back cooking again and today I'm going to be t <clears throat> doing jam tarts right I'm just because I'm not a big fan of jam tarts in the family what's left of it uh, I'm only going to do about three ounces of everything so it's three ounces of fruits and flour Three ounce of large. Oh, there might be a bit more than three ounces there. Get off, get off, get No, not quite. A bit more. Mm, a little bit off, but it doesn't really matter. For to get it on my fingers, am I? <sighs> now I don't know if you can see that, but I've put marge and flour in. As you can see, I've got the margin of the cheese, mar margin the map, margin the flour. <laughs> the cheese aren't brilliant. Uh, what I'm going to do is, what I call the disgusting part, is get all the cheese. I keep saying cheese again. Get all the margin the flour to all break up into like final breadcrumbs, which they're starting. I made sure my marge was quite warm so it would melt easier because hard marge makes it harder obviously so it's called hard marge I think I put too much marge in that enough flour not to worry it's all going to get banged together anyway might help if I put the oven on, wouldn't it? <clears throat> right. Well, it's all been broke up anyway, to a certain degree. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of water in, not too much. If you want to know how much I use, I use three ounces, uh, oh, three ounces of flour, which was self raising, and three ounces of marge. And it, like I said, it's just a case of making breadcrumbs. Um, I don't know how much water you need, but if your marge is as soft as mine were, you'll not need much for it to bind together. So I'm just going to use, I don't know, I'm going to get it in a cup or a glass, and I'm going to put some water in and see if it binds it together. I did, I'm sorry, I didn't show you how to roll it out, but you, you've seen me roll them out a few times. Uh, I'm only going to do three. <clears throat> three, because like I said, there's not many... Well, we're not keen on that jam to that. So I'm going to put one in there. I'm going to put one in there. Oh, no, I'm not because it won't get in. That's it, it's in. And I'm going to put one in there. And I'm going to... I opened it. So I'm going to put half a teaspoon, <clears throat> half a teaspoon of jam in each, more than half of that, in each case. And then that will spread out and make it more jamified. Is that a word, jamified? Well, it is now. Right, now I'm going to put them in the oven and keep an eye on them. I'm going to check them it's a te for 10 minutes, every 10 minutes to see if they are done. But I've put the gas, the, the electric mark at 200 and I'm going to, like I said, put them in for 10 minutes. Right, I got a message from a friend yesterday saying that um, my t-shirts are being sold in America. So this is just to you in America. Don't buy them, they're not real, they're not me. 
mine will be coming out soon but don't buy any more from that man he says they're official they're not the only official ones will be from me which i will tell you shortly in this in my camera view as you can see as i am viewing as i am being viewed while i am cooking and i just want to say to the woman who saw us outside morrison's and nearly gave me a heart attack hi this is the end product of a jam tart uh, and it's risen, risen up but not too bad i should have used plain flour instead of sr and now it's time for the taste test right and here's my mum to do a taste test there you go mum thank you Alright. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. Yep. Thumbs up. Ten out of ten. Very good. Just remembered, um, we've been having a bit of trouble with the video freezing. Don't know why. Lee is the more technical one. He will try and sort something out. If he can't, well, I don't know what we're going to do, but we will have a, well, Lee will have a go and see what he can come up with. <laughs> 